What's up guys? Thanks for watching the IB Dad. If you clicked on this video, then you probably have vertical blinds, and if that is the case, then you know the frustration of the stupid things breaking out of the clips, looking like this, and you find them on the floor, and then you can't do things you want to do in your room because people can see in, and uh, yeah, not cool. And the reason it happens is because the wind is always shaking them up like this. Well, I figured out a solution, and it's with things that you definitely have in your house and cost like no money, and it works. I'm six months in, and uh, the only reason they're broken is because I wanted to show you this video. So, let's teach you how to do stuff. So here's what a healthy, intact slat looks like. You can see that it's got that perforation there, that hole, and there's a clip that if you look, there's a little slot there at the bottom, and it slides up the slot, and then it clips in place, and then you are good to go. Except, if it gets too shaky and turbulent, what happens is it will come right out, and it doesn't break away cleanly. It often leaves a piece of it behind, and then you can't slide that in and clip it. So one solution, of course, is that you can buy more of these stupid things, but they come in a big pack and they cost money and I don't want to spend money and we're going to do this DIY with stuff that we have at home. Here's what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need to repair the blinds is the original broken blind, so let's start there. The next thing that you're going to need is a roll of packing tape. The final ingredient in our how-to cocktail are just some normal, ordinary paper clips. Now in college, my wife had the idea to make a little patch with some packing tape, and it kind of works, but as you can see, under much wind at all, it rips the packing tape off and you gotta rebuild the whole deal, and then you gotta make a YouTube video and wait for the helicopters to come by so that they can be super loud, yay! But what I've done, and this has withheld quite a storm of two-year-olds and, uh, and wind, is I put these paper clips in here, and these paper clips have strengthened it to the point that they just pull out or they stay. In fact, one, two, three, four, five of them stayed, only one of them came down, and if you look, this is what's really cool about this repair, is you only have to do it once, because, watch this, clip that in, boom, there you go. All right, so this is really straightforward, we're just gonna take one of these paper clips, we're going to bend it 90 degrees, like so, so it looks like an L, if you will, and then we're going to line it up, and depending on your paper clip, you might want the bigger side, but that looks, we, we want to do is line it up with the top of this and the top of that. Now the reason that you're going to do it that way is that the smaller end here is just about the exact right width for it to clip over because that clip has little teeth that you want it to clamp down. So you're going to pinch that and then, and you could use pliers for this, but I'm going to bend this over the back like so. Pinch it down, boom. Now it's not going to stay by itself and I want a little bit more to grab onto. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend it like at a 90. And then we're going to bend another little elbow. So we're going to make that U, but I want it to clear that, that hole there. And then I'm going to go over one more time. So over the back there, like so. Now, it's not going to hold by itself. It would fall off, although it is pinched in there a bit. What we're going to do is add some packing tape for a little bit of strength and rigidity. What we're going to do is take some packing tape, fold it over like this, and then pinch it. It's going to hold it in place. We'll take a little knife, and we'll cut out that perforation. It's going to clip right in, and it's going to stay. Tape is gonna go as expected. You're gonna make sure that that is in place, that those line up well with your uh, perforation there. And we're gonna just right over the entire thing, put that guy on there, and then fold it over. Oh, looking good. And then you'll need something sharp, and you could use another paper clip so this didn't make the, the uh, equipment list, but something just to perforate that uh, plastic right there. And poke a hole. Let's see if this is like not 3D, but whoa, craziness. Boom, looking good. I'm gonna add one more piece of tape just because it ripped right there and I want it to stay nice and sturdy. Okay, and that's it. It's really that simple. We're just gonna find the other missing deal. And clip it in. Satisfying click, and we're good. And again, you're not gonna notice that. Like, it looks great, and it looks way better than holes in the thing, and you're gonna get your deposit back. What? Thanks for watching. I hope that was super helpful to you. It's one of the cool things about living in the future is that you can YouTube how to do anything. 
How long have we been frustrated about vertical blinds? And the solution was right there. I just had to think of it, and you just had to Google it. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you would like to follow all of the Imperial Beach Dad escapades, just subscribe right there, and you can follow my inoperable Beat Meets Unstoppable Life. Uh, if you'd like a Stay Stoked shirt, just click up here, and you can purchase one to help me and my family out. Okay, you guys, bye. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Snap. Oh, yeah.